Hey, it's Sally Steele, and welcome to another episode of my Sally Steele Rock Show. Tonight we have Steve Summers of Pretty Boy Floyd. Steve and the guys came out to rock Count's Vamp, and they were on fire. The green room was so crowded, we had to go into the kitchen to do the interview. But hey, that's rock and roll. Hey, it's Sally Steele, and we're here in the kitchen at Vamp for Sally Steele Rock Show with the one and only glam man of Hollywood, the original Steve Summers of Pretty Boy Floyd. How you doing, baby? Did you have that planned out, glam man? No. You just, that just I can't. just made it. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I'm awesome. Okay. Can't wait for it. We played the whiskey last night. and uh, I know. And uh, we're waiting for, we go on in about a couple hours tonight. You know, so, uh, I just came from another show, and I was talking. I know to, you did. And I was, <laughs> I was talking to Jason Green, and he told me a funny story about you. We have lots of funny stories. He he said that you came out once on stage, and you were like, "I don't want anybody to get excited, but I've lost my driver's license. I've lost my driver's license." And then I you, said that? yeah, and then you came out another time. I don't want anybody to panic, but. The merch is gone. The merch table is gone. Jason said that? Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, and Todd Kern said, don't get any more of these type of guys, these guests. Like, oh, fuck okay. you. You mean me or Jason? You. Oh, okay. You. They didn't Wait, what does Todd have to do with this? Well, he was there that <laughs> night. <laughs> okay. And he said, don't, don't ask him I back. I love Todd. I did too. <laughs> okay. You know. I don't remember that, actually. It's you're, you're too much no, drugs no, in the no, 80s. No, no, no. Not enough. Um... A lack of success and l less drugs. Um, <laughs> but no, I've just talked to Jason the last couple of years and I don't remember that. Yeah. I must I must have. D was there. They were all laughing about it. Oh. I told them I was going to Well, there's lots of funny things, but I, I don't remember that one. Well, you are funny. Now, didn't you get in trouble? Something happened in Texas where you were uh, no, Dave Chappelle. Was, no. What did you do? You said you cussed on stage or something. No. Oh, I would never cuss on stage. Well, what did you say? I didn't get the gist of you it. You think I'm racist or something? No, I didn't cuss on stage. When? What? I don't know what you said, well, you but Dave Chappelle you have defended to, you. You have to explain to me what tour because it I, was in Texas somewhere. I, I don't say know. stuff. Well, I always like to quote. You got fined. Do you not even remember? No, no, no. Okay, first of all, we didn't get fined. That was. Damn that metal sludge! No, 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 no. <laughs> it was it was a mistake. We never got fined. We never got fined. Yeah. What did you say? I, I kind of forget. And I don't think it was because of what I said. I think it was the way we were acting that night. Might have had a few too many. But it had nothing to do with what we were saying. But we never got fined. We, we never got fined. Pretty Boy Floyd has never been fined for anything. But We've been told not to please don't do that anymore. But we were never fined. Well, you said, you said that Dave Chappelle came on and uh, defended you guys. Uh, it's funny that you say that because Dave Chappelle and Bill Burr is my favorite comedians. So a lot of times when I say a joke, even on stage or something, I go like, that wasn't me. Dave Chappelle said that. So it might have got confused. So he that. didn't defend you? No, Dave loves me. Oh, okay. No, Dave. You're, you're bro. Well, yeah. why, why isn't he here yeah. tonight? Well, well, I think he's busy. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I'm here, baby. But Bill Burr, he loves that 80s rock stuff. Yeah, yeah, and I love that guy. I know you got to go on stage. So I, got, I got to ask questions oh, really, no, really, really we, quick. We have one more band. You're, okay, you're well, all good. Well, I'm late, and I know you're in a hurry, so. No, I'm not in a, I'm not in a hurry of nothing. Okay, well, they're really loud, so we got to talk into the microphone. But I want to ask you. <laughs> I want to ask you. Um, I, I lost my train of thought. Well, I okay. want to ask you. I saw the your last couple of posts. You had Vince Neil, and I think you had Tommy Lee. Were, the, were those your last couple of interviews? No, I just had Tommy Lee taking his pants down at the stadium tour. Well, that's good. Yeah. Well, didn't I just see something you posted with Vince? Yeah, I did some, some uh, 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 memories of Vince and oh, a bunch yeah. of interviews. Yeah, I was just saying I saw some. That's cool. I saw some. And now I have you. Yeah, so. But um, now... <laughs> now you've been, well, let's talk about something else. Um, thank you for coming to my Vegas Rocks Magazine Awards in 2016, the whole band. Well, thank you for having us. What was our award again? I don't the remember. The ball glam band that was the last glam band on the Sunset Strip to get signed to a major label or something. 
How do I remember? And then, then grunge came in. It was something like that. It was a long trophy. At home, I, I read it, and it's like, well, that's a long trophy. <laughs> But did you I spell got, your you name? You guys right? were after Rat Motley Crew, Guns N' Roses, uh, Faster Pussycat, L.A. Guns, da 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 da, and then Pretty Boy Floyd, and then it stopped. Did you know I used to date Christy Major? I did not know that. And he was while he was engaged to Valerie. Okay, first of all, I am friends with Christy, and I'm not saying anything more. <laughs> Well, I did want to ask you about Christy. Now, when I saw you at the Rainbow, he didn't show up. He said like, there was a death threat or something like that. What's, what's that all about? No. Well, I, I, I personally don't know all. I don't, I don't read all. I mean, was it on Instagram, Facebook, MySpace? Christy said, I'm not coming to the show at the Rainbow. There might have been a situation. There's always a little situation around Pretty Boy Floyd, you know. I've People noticed. Still a little mad that we're still around. <laughs> They're like, fuck, this band didn't sell like 10 million records. They didn't have hits. Why are they still here? Um, and they look good. Um, but no. What was the question? What happened to Christy at the Rainbow? He, he just... Oh, well, let's just... Christy will be back soon next year. Is he okay? He put out a post and said, you know, there, I don't know, somebody pull a gun, my life is in danger. Oh, Christy is great. Oh, you guys believe everything. I just saw him last week. Jesus Christ, he was sitting on his patio, laying out, he was all good. Yeah. All right, okay. No, Christy is fine. Hey, speaking of the, the my Vegas Rocks, I'm having another Vegas Rocks Magazine Awards. Oh, you are? And, and I want to ask you something. Uh, would you be my co-host? That'd be awesome. Would I be able to get a word in edgewise? Would you actually let me talk? Yeah, well, just tell me when not to talk. Are we going to have cue cards? I can't do that. No. We go out and wing it. This is Vegas Rocks. Yeah, so you we can't... wing it. We, we wing it. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Is that a joke? I know no, you're No, 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 no. Well, unless I get a bigger name. You know, I'm asking you first. <laughs> what? Carrot Top? <laughs> what? Donnie V? Nah, I'm just kidding. That was a joke. Was... Donnie, I hope you're good. Um, I love you, Donnie. No, that'd be, that'd be awesome. I'm serious. If, I, if I you're serious, I would I, love to. I am. I would love to. I am. People ask me why my act isn't in Vegas yet. Well, you're here now. No, my act. Uh, Not the. Person. You have an act. Well, you know. <laughs> Remember you said one time you're I like. No, I said you should just talk and people will listen to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm saving that for later. My 70s or 80s. Okay, well, this, as we're, as for my next Vegas Rocks Magazine Awards, I want you there. I'm going to fly you in. That'd be awesome. And the, what is that? It, well, is it's that about a year, the, it's about a year away. I have to wait a year. I've got, I've got stuff okay. to do yet. Oh, you got to plan it. Planning. Well, I'm doing other stuff and then I'm planning that. Other stuff. She's got stuff. She's busy. Um, no, that'd be awesome. Okay, I mean, what cooler could it be? Sally and Steve from Pretty Boy Floyd. Sally Steele, yeah, yeah, Steve yeah. Summers, S S S S. I've seen some people doing interviews, and the zooms and the stuff, and uh, that, that's some pretty boring people. Uh, Who zooms? Know, people that do. The the reason why I don't do a lot of interviews and a lot of, no, I said zooms, zooms. I meant a lot of things and stuff. It's because some of the interviewers are so boring. Yeah. It's like I. No, so I'm saying it'd be great. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm more exciting. Am I more exciting than Jason Green? <laughs> when he interviewed you? Jason is the liveliest, crazy. He's like. He's so funny. Andrew Dice Clay when he was doing Madison Square Garden. <laughs> I love Jason. I know, he's so funny. He's got a certain personality of his own. Yeah, he's very cut and dry, but he's. Yeah, whatever it is, I don't, I, uh, but he's awesome, though. Well, he'll be there. Uh, he's working too. with Piercy. He's awesome. I know. I love him. I know. I saw Stephen Pierce last night. Okay. Um, How was that, actually? Oh, it was great. Yeah. What was it? At the Golden Nugget. Have we played there? Or is that where the... Th no, no, you haven't played oh, there. okay. That's awesome. downtown. Oh, okay. You've never been downtown. <laughs> you don't go downtown. Oh. There's a downtown Vegas? <laughs> huh. I told you. I thought that... Oh, that's weird. Carrot Top's down there. I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what else did I want to ask you? Okay, so let's go back to 1987. I was hanging out with Christy. He didn't want to be seen with me, and I told... You doing Chris again? Yeah. 
<laughs> and and I, uh, you know, we hung out, we did the movie, you know, just hung out. Oh, right and right. and Barry Squire was like, I told Barry Squire, my friend, he worked at Warner Brothers. I love Billy Squire. Barry Squire. Oh, my bad. Okay. He worked as an A and R for Warner Brothers, and I told him, I said, Hey, you know this band, Pretty Boy Floyd? They're really gonna be good. I, and he's like, no, they're not. They're going to be at Gil Turner's eating beef jerky. They're never going to be anything. I go, no, no, I love these guys, you know. And uh, that was you guys. And he said that when you got signed, the guy who signed you, his, his job was in jeopardy. Listen, l let me explain. First of all, everybody knows about MCA, so I don't need to get into that situation. No. We were, we were offered lots of deals, but we were in a... A very interesting situation since it was the last of the 80s so it was like do you want to be on the same label as Aerosmith and Van Halen and Warrant and Extreme and blah 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 or this other label that's trying to I mean their, their words were literally like god we want to make you our Motley Crue our Kiss our whatever and they had a lot of money they were like this is Elton John, this is Tom Petty, this is Belle Bib DeVoe, this is Tiffany. They're all rich. So how would you guys like to... <laughs> so, uh, was that the question? Yeah. Well, he, he said his job was in jeopardy after the, he signed you. Who? Our A&R guy? Yeah. Well, I think everyone's job was in jeopardy at MCA. <laughs> did, did he get fired after signing you guys? After signing us personally? Yeah. No, 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 no. No, I think the whole, it's a fact, and anybody that's normal out there, a musician or that follows labels or anything like that, MCA had a very hard time building up their rock roster. I don't think they ever have. So, um, <laughs> so no, Brett meant well. He was a huge Kiss fan and all that kind of stuff. Uh, they just didn't know what to do with rock. Yeah, MCA was a... You know, uh, what they call it? Um, I mean, they were just great at, at their stuff. Yeah. They tried. They had all the money in the world. But uh, no, actually, a year or two after us, everybody got fired. But it had nothing to do with us. Mm. It was just like. Well, I wanted to clear that up. Hold on one second. Okay. Okay, now you're. That was yeah. perfect. Okay. Edit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I had another question here. I think I think I'm I out of questions. I still talk to Brett, actually. Oh, you do really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. He sends me like old demos and old press stuff and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's I talk. Good. Yeah, yeah. That's Brett was good. a great guy. Yeah. It's, it's not his fault that everybody around him didn't know what to do. Uh, let's make this very simple. You don't give a band three hundred thousand dollars to make a video with like one of the biggest directors in the world. Like Jeff Stein, who was doing like Tom Petty and blah blah blah. He was. The you, guy, you guys made a video. <laughs> <laughs> it actually got played more than yours. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> that was the, okay. Um, I just I, I never see it. it, it Where is well, it? I only really saw it three times. I called my mom and I said like, Mom, um, you got to stay up at two thirty a.m. on Saturday night. It's on Headbangers Ball, maybe. <laughs> After some band called Sleazebees. Called what? Sleazebees or something. Yeah. Or some local band that, like, paid more money to be on. Yeah. <laughs> but well, here we are. But it, it, did it play that night? Oh, it did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Well, what, is, what? other than that, what is the proudest moment of your career, Steve Summers? No, I don't think there's a proudest moment. I mean, in reality, I mean, I put Pretty Boy Floyd together when I was like, started to put together when I was 15, 16 years old. It's 2022 right now. We're strong as ever. And so it's, I don't do things off days or this or that, whatever, you know, you know, my proudy, what was the question? What is it? What are you most proud of in your career? My music career? <laughs> Comedy career, whatever. I can't keep it straight. Well, um, you know, I'm proud of my beautiful wife. I'm proud of my health. I'm proud of my family. I'm proud. What's your greatest achievement in life? 
Staying very young. No, no, no. Um, no, I mean, lots of things. Besides coming to my awards and getting your trophy, what's the proudest? Awesome. <laughs> no, plenty of things. Yeah, I mean, people know me as just the singer of Pretty Boy Floyd, blah, blah, blah. But there's, you know, other things evolve, just like you, the busy girl. But, um, no. I mean, just, just doing Pretty Boy Floyd and staying alive as a C minus, D plus, C band for this long without selling 10 million records or 5 million records or even 600,000 records, you got to be doing something right. Yeah. You have to be. You, yeah. you can't well, just... I'm proud of you. I'm still a fan. That wasn't the question. You didn't say... <laughs> no. I'm and proud I, of everything no, you're no, doing. Not, and I'm not proud of that. It's just like, it's what I do. It's, it's my life. It's my lifestyle. Everything I do, I do it 100% and um, whatever, whatever. Speaking of which, are you going to help me do... Uh, Wash some dishes back here. Yeah, we're gonna do dishes, and um, there's some. Well, I don't think everybody officially knows we're in the kitchen. I think I said I didn't. I say we were yeah, in the kitchen. Once. Yeah, there's. You'd have to fan around. A yeah, bit. there's. <laughs> we got this. We got some pots and pans over there. We got, you know, uh, lots of goodies here. You have to tell them it was the best place with the air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you you've got too many fans. Uh, backstage, so it was too noisy back there. So right. Drag, drag you back here. Right. But it is nice and cool back here. Yeah. Very nice, you know. We we dress up, you know. We need uh, ventilation here. Oh, definitely. But anyway, I I am so proud of you, darling. It's so nice for you to uh, have you back in Vegas. We and love uh, Vegas. is there anything you want to say to your fans out there that they may not know about you? That, Tell no, me a secret. No, 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 no secret. I let stuff out all the time. No, everybody knows me. No, I have lots of secrets, but no. Okay. Everything, yeah, the fans are awesome. Pretty Boy Floyd fan, if you love glam rock, you love glam metal, you love Molly Crew to Guns N' Roses to Metallica to all that stuff. Take a listen to us, and uh, that's why we're still here. Well, congratulations on that. Okay. <laughs> Sally Steel Rock Show here with the great... Steve Summers, we love him. Come back to Vegas soon. We love you. Thank you. <laughs> See you next time. Peace. <laughs>
right here next week. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you on the streets of rock and roll.